back is also very traditional. Insert, speaker, plastic, black handle. You also have a flat floor. The rear seats do fold by lifting that. That increases the cargo space. Solid doors, about five feet, lots of leg space. Head space is astronomical, about a foot or so. Like I said, you have two cup holders, storage. Courtesy light back there. You also have your child safety anchors. Like I said, the seats are a little firm, but overall, not bad. Like I said, your courtesy lights, individual adjustments, and your main adjustment. Oh, the seat belts are also adjustable by pushing those two light levers inside airbags. Storage, power window, power locks. Passenger seats also fully manual. Pretty much same adjustments as the drivers. As far as I like about the Escape, Unlike most SUVs, which are um, crossovers, this one's traditional, very utilitarian-like. Here's your glove compartment with the owner's manual. As far as I don't like about it, is that the climate controls and radio are all bunched together. There's not really any separation, plus these, all these radio switches and dials. Um, takes a little while to get used to them, and especially what their function is. And even worse, it all appears to such a tiny screen. But, like I said earlier, this is pretty much the only traditional SUV left on the market until next year when, when the new Escape comes out. So, time to say farewell to the traditional small SUV. Anywho, hope you enjoyed the full review and tour on the 2008 Ford Escape XLS. If you want more videos on my channel or just like this, subscribe now, everybody. Have a great day.